Good morning. Good morning. My watch, you can see. Half past freckle. Okay. My name is Arthur Sowland, and I am here because I promised last week that I would talk about Claire Cognizant, right? So what is Claire Cognizant, right? So it, it practically translates to clear knowing. Um, people with this gift and ability tend to have a lot of uh, gut feelings. They use the phrase and terms, I know, I don't know how I know, I just know, right? And what it is, is basically it's like a divine, divine knowing. Like the information has been given to them, right? And they pick up on it. And they take it and they run with it. And they know, it's not just like, oh, I know. 2 plus 2 equals 4, right? Clear knowing. Every part of their body, every cell in their body reacts to this information in a way that makes it so truthful that they can't ignore it. And that's why you see a lot of detectives with this gift, right? So you see a lot of very logical type minds, people who like to think things through, who have this kind of ability or capabilities. So... They have a, a they have a way of downloading information, um, thoughts from the uh, collective unconscious, right? So they have ability to download or catch specific things, and then just boom, right? And then they're good; they know it. And honestly, today is going to be kind of a short video because this gift and ability is very, very upfront, right? It's very uh, to the point. There's not really a, a lot that goes into people having this kind of gift. But um, let's begin, right? So again, let's begin again. <laughs> so people with disability tend to have a lot of like deja vu, right? So, you know, you're you're doing something, you're going along and then boom, you get hit, you get struck with like deja vu, right? And you get this feeling of, well, I've done this before, right? And that's you just downloading or understanding the knowledge or something that you all needed to know to proceed with what you need to do, right? Or what can happen as well as they get the feeling of not just deja vu, but that they've done something before, right? And a lot of people think, oh, well, this is a past life thing. This is a past life uh, uh, affliction or something I've done for over periods of lifetimes and lifetimes. And, you know, I don't speak in absolutes. So there's always like an exception to every rule. But for the most part, when it comes to concern in in regards to this ability, right? What I'm trying to say is is that they get this, they download this this information so they feel like they've done it before they already know how to do it it's like uh, the equivalent of like in Star Trek when the kids and teenagers are all like downloading information right and it downloads to their brain directly so they can pick and choose and, and or not pick and choose but it's just there and I'm talking about Vulcan specifically <laughs> but Anyways, right, so they take in this information, they do all this stuff. Who top my car? I should take this off, huh? Yeah, one sec. Alright guys, excuse me. So, right, so they download this information and they feel like they've done it before, it's because they've they've just they've just they've taken the information, right? Spiritually and they just boom. And that's it. Right? And a lot of times they get this gut feeling as well, like I said before. It's just this, um, I don't want to say feeling except for when it comes to intuition. But they get this, this, um, well, I guess I'm talking about intuition. So they get this feeling in their stomach. And it's like the cells in their body just like react to it. Right? Every cell in their body is like, I know this is going to happen, or I know where this is, or I know where this person is going to go. And 
it's like a whole body affirmation. They just know, right? And I'm not talking about your run-of-the-mill smarty pants, the run-of-the-mill people who think that they know everything. And they may, they might know everything, right? I'm just kidding. Just going to throw this out there. For people who think they know everything, they shut them off. They shut themselves off to learning new ideas, new information, right? So, in fact, by thinking they know everything, they actually become less intelligent over time. The people who know they know nothing tend to absorb more information, are more open to information coming in, right? And they tend to know more because they're more receptive. Anyway, back to the topic at hand, which really isn't all too much, right? I mean, there's different different types of this information, and there are subcategories, right? So there's, I think, Claire Gustian's, Claire... Alliance? 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 Basically, when it comes to the things that are, um, to the powers of intuition, there can be a multitude of other abilities, as I've stated in all of my other videos, right? So, when it comes to this, people, someone with this clear cognizance could walk into a room and one of the subset abilities and powers that they have we'll click on like I was just saying like Claire Gustians I believe that is the ability to taste something so you walk into a room and you feel the energy in the room and then you taste something in your mouth and what people believe that that is and what that's connected to is being connected to the ethereal realm right or the the other realm and that information is given to you from them, from from that um, point of dimensional reality. So you just kind of, once again, you just download the information, you get a specific taste in your mouth. Like if you're a detective, then you'll get a specific taste in your mouth and you'll be like, well, someone died in here, right? I taste blood or I taste um, something burned in here or, you know, you'll get specific hints. And as odd as it may seem, it's like it hitches off of clear cognizance, it hitches off of your five senses, right? So, and then there comes to the uh, term and aspect of walking into a room and getting a a clear smell of something. I smell sulfur, I smell um, burning cinder, you know, and... It's not... How do I say this? Actually, I believe it's the only two. Because the others would be sight and hearing, which relate to clear um, voyance and clear audience. So we'll just stick with um, smelling, tasting, right? And then we have the uh, third sense, which is touching. And that's something that has kind of been expressed in... Some supernatural shows, right? So, it's like you can touch something. And what happens is, and this can go into your clairvoyant ability as well, or specifically for this one, when you touch something, you pull in the energy, right? And you have the knowledge already of what happened in the room. And that goes along with clairsentience as well. Um, But they don't... They are separate abilities, so just because you have clairsentience doesn't mean you can get the clear knowing from touching something, right? So this is, so this ability kind of goes into other ones, but it keeps a very logical basis for a spiritual ability, more logical than the other divinely inspired abilities in the spectrum, right? So we talked about clear knowing, intuition, or downloading um, thoughts and information, just in general, you know how this happened, you just feel like you've done this before, I feel like I've seen this before, correct, and then also, um, that goes into 
the three other senses. You walk into a room, you smell something. Oh, I smell this, right? You smell something related to a memory that had happened. You download that information. Um, Claire tasting, Claire. Yeah, Claire tasting. They're, they're all terms um, undefined in the same like uh, branch or tree of this ability. Um, you walk into a room, you get a specific taste in your mouth. Taste sulfur, it tastes dirt. Someone's buried underneath the floorboards. You know, that kind of stuff. Old body, not new body, because that would be way too obvious. Um, and then, um, God, I can't remember the name of this ability, but it's, it's actually very um, powerful in how it can relate to whatever it is that you're doing at the time. So like you touch a piece of broken glass and if you have clairvoyance, right, what's going to happen is you will see that memory in your head or you touch the glass and you can hear the voices of the people from the memory that were there, but in terms to clear cognizance, you touch the glass, and then boom, automatically you know exactly, exactly what happened. Right? So, this ability branches off into the other ones, but once again, all of these abilities are all valid in their own right and have their own um, powers. And it's, it's pretty cool. Now, back in, in the, in the uh, Greek times, these abilities and these powers were trained in people, right? Maybe not to the specific T as to much how much we know now, but I'm sure they had people in their um, religious fold that could teach people how to use these abilities and powers because they've had them before, right? Or they would travel and they would see someone... Um, a teacher, a mentor, a leader, right? Who could teach these these people how to use all of these clear abilities in every subcategory or however their powers advance into a category that's unknown, right? So, I mean, there's no absolutes, correct? This is just knowledge that we picked up from other people's capabilities from the past. And these are all gifts given divinely by Apollo himself. I'm sure there are other gods and goddesses that give abilities, so to speak, hereditarily or were gifted, as they would say, right? Which implies that they were not given before the lifetime, right? They were given at the, like, perception of birth. And, but I, I believe that we were, my belief, right? So in reincarnation, and when all of that happens, what happens is um, you agree to specific things before you come down to planet Earth. And that's just the way that it happens. That's just the way it is. So I believe that that is it for this video, guys. If you liked it, smash that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I know the video quality isn't the best these days, but I'm working on that. Um, I'm working on moving into a, a more um, current than this phone where I will be recording my videos and getting some editing equipment done so I can be like a real YouTuber. But I don't even tell people that I'm a YouTuber, even though I am. So we'll see. We will see what life hands me and what how much work I can put into grabbing that hand, right? So I hope you all have a very blessed night or day. I need to go and shave my face. And um, I will see you all next weekend. All right, later.